Welcome. Another homeless guy waiting in front of the Burger King. You know, there's uh, what they would do, and it's funny too, I think I, I'm starting to realize why they put people in the Burger King to target me. Right? Um, you know, I talk about how before with my targeting that when, I'm, when I say how these white supremacists, white racists, I should say, when it comes to black people and seeking out those among us who, you know, may be descendants of kings and queens, right? They know what they're doing, you know? Uh, there are times when they were target me, right? And particularly when they start targeting me using the, the color purple. Purple is a color that is associated with royalty, right? And they used to target me a lot with the color purple, right? The royalty, also uh, kingship, right? So the Burger King, they would send, uh, they would have these perps stand in front of the Burger King, right? So if, you know, or if you're the king of the home, right? So within the family structure, the man, the man is the king of the house, right? And the, when you remove the king from the house, what do you do? You left the, the queen unprotected. And if you have children, you know, they're unprotected, right? So what happens? So now the white races, again, using the welfare system, right, has now made the queen dependent on a new king, which is the welfare state okay so understand how they use different things but it's the same thing you know just with me you, you didn't know that I'm not gonna be silent they will never silent me you know like I said they they would I understand how they run their little testers and stuff like that for example seeing how I strategize particularly when I'm playing certain games you know trying to figure my you know how is it that how, how is he how is he how is it that he can strategize a certain way you know how is it that when you know now that he knows the game and you know they try to sabotage my game particularly in Fortnite when they try to sabotage my game you know what it is that I do you know but I always know what it is is that in, certain, in these games where you have to level up right which means you have to build you have to keep playing the game to get better you have to um, allocate your resources to improve your weapons, you know, you may have to buy things to, um, you know, uh, 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 advance your character, right? It's like in life, right? Whereas, you know, if you if you understand that you have to, in your work, you, you save. If you want to have a business, you have to, uh, you know, work particularly with, if you don't have a, a wealthy parent, a wealthy family member to say, okay, here's, $500,000 or here's $100,000 hey $50,000 start a business you know like with Trump you know his, I think his father gave him like a you know what a couple million dollars to start his um, real estate business right but everybody else you know you work you work you work and you save now most people don't end up having a business until particularly if they're if you're a black you know usually start off you have uh, small businesses you know you may have a barber shop or a food shop you know a, a small restaurant food um, you know a mechanic you know what I'm saying but that means that you're, you're not starting that business until you're probably in your in, in your 40s, right? Maybe mid 30s, uh, 40s, right? And, and again, you have to have that, that goal when you're younger, meaning that you have to have people around you to show you these things, right? And this is what a lot of black people in America don't really have. We don't have those, uh, those, uh, those, um, those mentors, right? We don't have those mentors to say, Hey, you know what? You want to start your own business? This is what you need to do. You need to. Start. This is what I tell my son. I tell my son from you know when he started college. I said, listen, your job is not to go and work for somebody for the rest of your life. Okay? Because that has always been what I believe. Even my brother, even in the 1990s, in our young 20s, we were doing things because in, in hopes of one day, you know, start having our own business. But you know, that got derailed. Okay? 
But anyway, oh, that got foiled as they were trying to, you know, recently insinuate that they foiled my, you know, every attempt I made to start a business or to expose them, you know, it's being foiled, you know, that sort of thing. But anyhow, um, you know, so I tell my son, I said, listen, <clears throat> right, all through your 20s, work, save your money. You know, I want him to go to school for computer engineering, but his mother, I, I not computer, computer, um, uh, uh, computer science, I uh, computer engineering, computer science. Okay, and but his mother wanted to go into accounting, which is fine. It's still a part of STEM. And I told him, I said, you know, you 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 work. I said, forget about forget about dating. If if you are going to date, date with the intention of getting married. I said, but I would advise that being that you're young, particularly with the mindset of these women today, that you don't, you, you don't want to do that. So if you, if you do want to do that, go outside the United States and find yourself a black woman to marry. Okay? And, and, and one who is a professional in whatever country you go to, right? You know what I'm saying? And so, and the one that's fam family oriented, that knows how to support you in your endeavors, and she understand that, you know, your goal will help her achieve her goal. Because I think I said, because you know, if you follow her, it's going to be a disaster. If you if you help her achieve her goal, which is a good thing, right? And she doesn't support you in, in, in your goal, I said, you know, it's going to be a disaster. Now have final women that support you in your goal, because you are a man. By the time she reached 40, 45, if you're, you know, you're still, you guys are still married because she's more family oriented, you have kids, they're married or have you, you'll see the switch in the personality, meaning that she now wants to have a man take care of her. Right? This is what most women do. They've been conditioned in Western society. When they're younger, because they're being used by, by, corporate, uh, by corporations, you know, they hire women because they pay them less. Right? Not only do they pay them less because they understand, they know that women don't work as, as long and hard as men. Okay, maybe in certain fields, you know, you know when, it, when it comes to manual labor, because women are not physically capable of working long, physical, long, working long hours doing physical manual labor. They just can't. And particularly if they want to start a family, because they're the one that's going to get pregnant. Okay? So they're going to be out of work, you know, depending on how long, um, you know, they, they're, when, after they have the kid, how, how much uh, time off they get, right? Usually, in America, usually like what, three months or so, and then they're back to work, right? So I said, this is why it's important for you. Uh, you need a woman to support you when you are young, when you are building. You both, you, you are building, both of you are building, but you are building more because you are the man, right? If you want to start a business, you have to stack money, you know what I'm saying? You have to stack your cash, save it, what have you, right? And her supporting you, meaning that she's not going to go out there and buy Louis bags and you know um, uh, Louis Vuitton shoes and all this nonsense because she wants to look cute and compete against other women. That she's focused and and, and uh, at a long-term goal with you. Look, so I see all these red cars popping up, <laughs> right? I, I'm noticing them. I'm just not even saying it because I'm talking. But anyhow, um, and I said because if you, like I said. When you try to support a woman more than she, the more than she's supporting you, it's not going to work out. Okay, unless she's already established and have it, you know, together. Meaning that she's older, she, you know, she's been working. She's also saving and she's not spending. You know, she's not trying to press other women and, and keep trying to do keep up with the Joneses. Then your best bet is to, like I said, go out the country, find a woman. But in your twenties, work, save your money. Go out once in a while. You don't have to go out every weekend. Okay? Go out once in a while. Okay? Don't become uh, 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 um, a, a consumer addict. You know? Don't become addicted to consumerism. You know, because that's what most people are addicted to. Even when I was younger, we were all, con uh, you know, we were in the beginning phase of this program where they were uh, using particularly uh, rap music, right, to now. Uh, change the mindset right of particularly women men you have to you remember I remember you know when iceberg and all this stuff it was expensive I was like I don't know I'm not buying that shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying 
I'm like, I'm not, let me tell you something. The, the most expensive pair of jeans I ever bought was a Dolce & Gabbana, I think, at the time. And it was like on sale, $125. That was it. You know, I think I might have bought like one or uh, two pairs of those things. That was it. You know, but I never, I used to go, we used to go to um, the outlets. You know, we used to freeze, man. 80s, 90s, phew, outlets is where we go. You know, uh, sample sales, all those things. Right? Those things are not even, I believe, you know, I say how long I have not even shopped like I used to when I was younger. Because as you get older, you know, my taste change. I don't, those things don't matter to me anymore. I'm more interested in tech now. And I've been like that for the past two decades, right? I've worked in the technology field, but more on the printing side, but also more in the, in, in the, in the, in the tech side too. You know, shit goes wrong, you, you know, you fix it, right? Unless it's, you know, unless the company you work for has a contract with someone to come and fix it, most of the time they're looking at you to fix it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, when, you know, when the, when the technician come in, look at what he's doing so that, you know, that's, that was the mindset. Right, but today, what we see in today is that now with the with the biggest push with, in AI, and this is why I tell myself that I wanted to get into the computer science field. Right, I said I, I, I because I've always been a person who follow a certain when I look when I look at the market and see how the market is moving, I shift like I move with the market. You know what I'm saying? So that way I can get, uh, uh, you know, more educated, get, uh, uh, you know, better employment, stuff like that, right? I've always been like that. So I went back to school for computer engineering. Now, had him supporting me like I supported her, right? Despite me being the target, you know, I would have probably graduated, you know, possibly. And I say possibly get a, 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 a job, you know. A better pain, you know, uh, uh, that I had before. <laughs> a better pain that I had before. Possibly, like I said, possibly. But no, she just, she just, she was just all about her and what she wanted, you know. And I keep, and I always remind. I said, you know what? I could have helped you with a lot more. But you didn't think about it. All you thought about was your selfishness and the fact that I was a TI, and just like with you, just like the other people who are out there because they don't want to see me do better. You didn't want to see me do better. But I've always wanted to see you do better. You know, so it just goes through that you you can you can give support to people who don't give support back to you. And you know, I'm at that point now. I'm just like, not that I don't give a support because I do. I'm still picking up the kids. I'm still there doing homework with them and stuff like that. I'm still doing those things, right? And and you know, like I said, I'm still you know buying stuff for her house. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Like I said, you know, she's, you know, you got the red again, the red hat. <laughs> they try to get you angry. That's what it is, you know. That's what, you know, they want, red is a bold color. It, it, it invokes anger, you know. So they, you know, that's what they do. It, it, it doesn't work, you know what I'm saying. It doesn't work. I mean, in the past it did, but, it, it, you know, no, it doesn't work. No, 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 it doesn't work. But anyhow, right? So, as I tell you, a lot of, a lot of women, particularly in the black community, they shoot themselves in the foot because, they are being psychologically manipulated and they cannot figure it out. They cannot figure it out. And then also, look, Red Book Bag Project also. And also because of that fear that they have, right? Because this is what the white races in America have done to us, is particularly our women in the black community, is to create this fear, right? First is religion. Then it's the, the job, they'll, they'll promise you this, they'll this and that. They'll, they'll, they'll elevate you and then, you know, if you don't, if you deviate from their program, they drop you, you know what I'm saying? No more advancement. Particularly if you are not sleeping with a white man or a white woman, you know, because they, they need you to do that. Why? Because now, not only psychologically are you have that affiliation for whiteness but sexually you know you desire white in terms of sexual sexual experiences having sex right you got to understand how like I said they understand psychology very well they are masters at it they know how to manipulate people manipulate our emotions work behind the scenes right but like I said, it is my purpose to make what is unseen seen. 
you know, like like uh, Professor uh, Harakap, uh, you know, excuse me if I'm not saying his name properly, but as you said, you know, science is unseen spirituality, and and uh, I'm sorry, science is seen spirituality, and spirituality is unseen science. You cannot have science without spirituality, and you cannot have spirituality without science. But most people don't understand the definition. Red hat again, red hoodie right across the street. Most most people don't understand the true meaning of spirituality. They think having a, spirit, a spirituality means having a personal connection with God, right? And again, if you understand history, the word God is 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 was never used in any ancient like three one two three, right? As I say, that synchronization where you see three red cards, but you really you you really even see sometimes sometimes they'll do. Uh, four, five, six, all at the same time, intersecting at the same time. Just like with the color gray. Now show it, look, another red car, right? So why is it I've been seeing so much red cars lately? You think it's coincidence? No, it's not coincidence. It's an orchestrator. These, these, this is what is called societal mobbing, where you have a large group of people engaging in psychological manipulation and psychological harassment. Okay? So anyhow, Right, so like I, like, like I was saying, um, they understand psychology very well. They understand how to manipulate people, right? They, they have, when you look at who are the experts in a lot of these fields, psychology, psychiatry, technology, right? You'll be shocked to, uh, to know that less than, in the number of psychiatrists in America, right? Less than 10% of psychiatrists are black. Actually, less than 5%, I think it's like 4% of psychiatrists uh, in America. The, uh, black people only make up 4% of the psychiatrists in America, as a of psychiatry as a whole. Why is that? You, as a black person, you should understand that the things that are important to benefit people in society, but not also benefit, but if you want to control society, to a certain aspects, certain degrees, like the te technology, psychology, right? If we, as black people, only have a few in the single digits, right? Not even past five percent. I'll just say, for example, tech. How many black people are in the tech field in America? Again, less than ten percent, right? It may be seven percent if I'm uh, not if I'm mistaken. Okay, it might be seven percent, right? All the important fields, right? Black people have been locked out of those fields. And we gotta understand this and we gotta know what's going on. Okay? Anyhow, talk to you guys in the next video.